2015 and today we're looking for mugwort. Well, this is a typical place you'll find mugwort, an arable field edge. Um, it quite often grows on roadsides and in derelict sites as well. It's kind of a coloniser of open ground. Um, in fact, I can see some. And uh, here we are, here's some mugwort here. Um, it's kind of got this silvery appearance, the leaves are, are white underneath or lighter underneath. It's got these light coloured flowers. And it's quite a tall plant, it's got these kind of dark reddish stems and it grows to about, I don't know, about six and a half feet tall. And um, mugwort is the same family as wormwood, which um, I'm sure you're aware is what's used in absinthe to give it its supposed hallucinogenic qualities, um, which has, in turn has led to mugwort being reputed to have various psychoactive qualities. And um, it's certainly got a long history as being a, a magical herb and associated with with magic and charms. Mugwort has a long tradition as a magical herb, protecting against ghosts, evil spirits and wild animals. And I think the reason it's become associated as a, a psychoactive today is because um, it contains thujone, which is the same stuff that's in wormwood. It doesn't contain as much, but it's in mugwort too. And this was once believed to um, have the same effect as a THC in cannabis. It affected the same receptors in your brain. Um, but they've since found that this isn't true. But, um, yeah, from my experience of absinthe, I've only tried it once. But uh, it had no effect on me, but it certainly had a, an effect on a couple of friends. So... Um, Maybe it's down to the individual whether you're affected by thujone or not, but certainly a lot of people smoke mugwort as a, a legal high. Whether it works or not, I, I don't know. I have my doubts. You're probably better off drinking it or eating it. Bear in mind that in large quantities, thujone is almost certainly toxic. And another psychoactive quality associated with mugwort is um, it's supposed to give you lucid dreams um, and make your dreams very colourful and vivid and I, again I think that probably only applies if, if you drink it as a tea or eat it and whether that works or not I don't know but certainly people claim it does. However despite its um, psychoactive properties that are claimed for it. Um, it is edible and um, people do eat it. It's eaten in China and Korea and Japan and loads of recipes and people pick the leaves and stick them in dumplings and they're very aromatic. Um, yeah, they're, they're quite often used as a pot herb and certainly those countries don't seem to report any psychoactive effects from it. But, um, yeah, who knows, again, it, it might be down to the individual. And there is one caution with mugwort in that um, it may cause miscarriage. Um, it tightens the uterus, so um, yeah, something to avoid if you're pregnant. And its uh, action on the uterus can also make it a treatment for, for menstrual cramps as well. Other medicinal uses attributed to mugwort include as a poultice for burns and skin disorders or taken internally to relieve fatigue, stomach disorders or fevers 
or in acupuncture it's used in moxibustion, which is where a small piece of rolled leaf is burned over the skin close to an acupuncture point. Uh, now for me, um, the main use I've found for this plant, um, it, like I say, it does make quite a, a, a nice herb, it's quite aromatic, but um, it's also a really good insect repellent. And um, I think there's a lot of dispute about the etymology of the, the name mugwort, but um, probably it comes from Old English midgewort to keep away midges, I guess. That's probably how they came to name that. And, um, yeah, I think they used to hang it up in various sort of food stores and stuff to keep insects away. And what I, well, how I've used it is when I've been out and there's, I've been going somewhere where I know there's going to be a lot of mosquitoes, I've picked a couple of branches and then um, rubbed it onto my legs and arms if I've been wearing shorts. And it seems to work, it keeps them away, so yeah, handy as an insect repellent. So uh, there you go, mugwort, uh, edible herb, possible psychoactive and a very common waste ground plant. Mugwort flowers produce a lot of pollen and are known to be an allergen and cause hay fever in many people. So it's always worth taking caution and trying a small amount first if you've never eaten it before in case you have a reaction to it.